Hi everyone, I was asked to make a video about how to rewire one of these bad boys. So what we're looking at is, well it's a cage for eight two and a half inch units. So it has two SAS connectors here, proprietary 10 pin connector, power connector here. So I'm gonna just show real quick how I do it. Disclaimer. If you do this, um, you're modifying things, power, electricity, um, house could burn down, all that stuff. Don't do this. Um, it's your own fault if something happens, basically. So what you need is obviously the cage, a multimeter, really important, 10-pin power connector, a 6-pin uh, GPU power connector, yellow for 12-volt, uh, black for uh, ground, one of these, um, it hooks into a, a server PSU. I believe it's called common slot server PSU. They're, they're just 12 volts. There's no other voltage there. And uh, the beauty of this cage, why I love this, is it actually, it takes the 12 volts here and steps it down to 5 volts internally. So there's no need for adding 5 volts so you can just get these cheap platinum rated I think it's 1200 watt um, server piece used for something like 50 maybe 60 bucks something like that uh, so they're really cheap and they're really efficient uh, they can power a lot other than that you need something to get the pins out of these things if, if you've never modified an ATX power supply cable, you're in for a treat. Um, remember that it's all worth it in the end. There are specialized tools. Uh, so this is the, I believe, semi-official, like, I believe it's called like mini JR something, whatever tool. Uh, this one I found online, it's trash. D don't bother, I mean, this one's about the same price it's still extremely painful to do it with this. You have to shove it into the hole here and it's really hard to get it in right. You know, if you get it in perfectly, you're gonna be able to pull this out. Just don't don't yank too hard. The cable will come out, but the, the actual metal piece might not. So yeah, that's, that's why I love these connectors because that was super easy. One thing that I actually use this tool for is flipping the barbs back out. You need to do that so that you can reattach it later. Uh, watch YouTube videos, cry a little bit the first few times that you try this. Uh, it's If it's your first time, it's probably gonna take you an, at least an hour to get the pins out. We're gonna take the head off of this one and shove it onto this one. And we're gonna take the head off of this one, or sorry, the connector off of this one and shove it onto here. Uh, because all we need is ground and 12 volts. So another thing we need is a printout of the power for SATA. Uh, why SATA? Because it's the same power pinout. And another thing you need is basically a printout of this. Just draw it in Visio, I don't know, uh, paint. I made this in Excel. And then you need something that has multiple colors. Basically, you're gonna figure out what everything leads to. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually remove this outer case because I don't need it. There, much lighter. So the next thing is we're going to attach the power cable here. And then I'm going to use some electrical tape. So why am I doing this? Well, because I'm going to check for continuity. So there are several ways of doing this. Uh, 
I can either test each and every single one individually and check it with the um, SATA power connector or SAS power, um, or I can check which ones of these are interconnected and then later just te test each group uh, to see which one is connected to what. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check here real quick. That one's definitely connected. Okay, so we got three that are interconnected. We got those three. So, time to draw on the piece of paper what we found. Okay, so we know those three. Let's see what else. Okay. Okay, so these three. Pick a different color. Nothing, so that one's on its own. And this one seems to be wired differently than my previous one. These are all individual ones. So let's try one of these and see where it connects. That will be the 12 volt that I'm touching right now. So just to verify, test the other two that were part of that th the the triplets. Uh, so we can also test all the other ones just to verify they're not 12 volt. So silence is great. And my guess is that the other three are going to be ground. So we can touch one of the ground pins. So that is definitely ground. And this one should also be ground. Yep. So let's check the other ones. Not ground, not ground, not ground, not ground. Um, just to make sure that we're not doing anything crazy. So seven, eight, nine should be five volt. Let's just check that one with everything here. So none of the pins show any continuity with the 5 volt, which means the 5 volt is not coming from this power, uh, from this power cable. On the previous one that I had, the 12 volt was the same 3 and the ground was the same 3. That does not mean that whatever you purchase is going to be wired exactly the same, which is why you need to test this. Um, I might as well check for the 3.3 volts, which I highly doubt anything is connected to, but you never know. Better safe than sorry when it comes to electricity. So now we know which ones are interconnected. We also know uh, which ones are 12 volt and which ones are ground. So that means we can start poking these out. Yeah, uh, that's going to take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here and uh, come back in a few minutes. So now I've actually pulled out all the ones that are not going to be connected to anything, and what I do is I just uh, tape them together and make sure that all the metal is covered. And uh, just get them out of the way. And of course you can do this any way that you want to, but I prefer pulling out the three that are the same and um, I'm 
I'm just going to stick them into this connector as soon as I pull them out, essentially. Okay, so I've pulled out everything except for the ground. You can verify that it's the ground by looking at the pinout that you've drawn. This one here. And um, I'm just going to hook them into where these yellow ones are on this one. So we see that this little tab is down, pointing downward. So we'll have this one pointed downward and push these black ones into where the yellow ones are. And oh, make sure that you've pulled these out, the little tabs there. Uh, make sure that you pull those out so that these actually attach. You'll hear a click, hopefully. Okay, and that's on there. So just to verify, yes. Um, the yellow ones are, or rather, the, these black ones are connected to where these yellow ones are connected. So uh, let's just fast forward to whenever I do the last ones. Okay, so I just have to connect these three grounds to where the ground goes on the PCIe connector. And make sure that these latch. You can test that by yanking a little bit on. If they come out, then that means you didn't do it right. So that one's good. Uh, so these are taped off, actually not completely. So now we've got one cable here. And for the other one, we know that uh, this is how we had it um, when, we, when we made this. So let's make sure that we Stick them in the right holes here. One, two, three. I'm doing the ground first. In case you have issues getting it in, um, just pull it back out and get the barbs out again. And uh, just turn around 180 degrees and try sticking in the other way. And that is it for this one. Just give it a gentle tug on all of these. Just make sure they're in there. So now that we have everything rewired, uh, we can just do a quick continuity uh, test here. Um, and make sure that all the 12 volt ones are touching 12 volt ones. but not the ground. Okay, and then we check the ground. So that's great. We got continuity and uh, just to make sure, let's see. This is the 12 volt. We can just verify that with the 12 volt down here. We can verify the ground. So this cable is good, and we can test the other cable. There should be continuity between these, but not these. The ground. Great. Let's check. We have continuity with the ground here. Let's 
check if we have continuity with the 12 volt. Great. So this should be fine, but you won't know that it's fine for certain until after you take one of these. You stick this onto a 12 volt uh, server power supply, and then you hook this in here. Turn this on, and you uh, verify the voltage. So again, that's why you should have one of these printed out, where you show the, uh, where you can see the actual, uh, the pins. So that way you can verify that the 12 volt is 12 volt. Mine is usually about 12.2. I think I usually get something like 4.9 or 5.0 on the 5 volt. So always verify that before you actually hook your hard drives or SSDs into this. I mean, I always start with uh, one that I don't care about um, just in case I screwed something up or if it's a bad card, if something is miswired or something like that, um, or if the power supply unit is bad. But again, that's why you should use a voltmeter or multimeter and verify the voltage once everything is hooked up. And um, yeah, the, I mean, there, there you have it. I mean, that's that's how you do that. And uh, once you have the power, like a 12 volt server one, um, just hook the uh, SAS cables in and uh, hook that to an HBA, and you're you're good to go. Um, what I would recommend is get a 120 millimeter and zip tie it here, and have it blowing air because this thing does get hot. Uh, and I would actually recommend hooking it straight to this power supply. So whenever you turn on the drives, you're actually going to feed power to the fans. This is a Molex 4-pin to PCIe. People generally use it to take a, a Molex 4-pin, power something like a, a GPU with that, turning it into a 6-pin. Well, you can fit one of those in here use Y splitters and hook one of these to here and the other one to one of these tiny little fan hubs and this way you can actually power eight fans straight from 12 volt without having to cut any wires or do any soldering or anything like that. So yeah, all it took was well, I don't know, about an hour or so to do all this stuff. Is there a quicker way of doing this? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you could just cut the wires and just solder them and you'll be done in like a few minutes.